Even that late again, John. How's it feel to get another late winner? So it's nice to score late winners, yeah. Uh, over the course of 36 games in a season, you're going to have games where yeah, it's maybe not all went to plan. Uh, t- today I thought, first half, we would get a really good start in the game. Great goal by Ross McIver. He's just bent it right away in the faraway corner. And we're very much on top. Good opportunities after that. Uh, Alfie's got one for a corner kick. I feel we should score. Somehow the, 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 the lads managed to clear it, but he shouldn't have been able to clear it on the line. And then again, the combination of Alfie having a chance and uh, Gary Oliver and, and another sort of move that could have led to a goal. So very much on top in, in the first half, but still we're, we're never out yet. And unfortunately for us, right before half time, a ball into the box, there's a little bit of confusion. Goes back to Nicky, who manages to yeah, unfortunately hit the ball against their player, and it ricochets in the box and eventually ends up in a goal, which, you know, out of very little, you know, they managed to get a goal. Fair play to Sterling, it gave them a little bit of encouragement, even though at the start of the second half, you know, I felt we had a good opportunity to, to take the lead again. Uh, Callum's really got to score, Calvin Miller's really set it up for, for Callum to score, and he's dragged his shot wide. And then after that, you know, we give a, a, a series of free kicks, and that allowed Sterling Albany to get the ball in our box. Uh, which you've got to defend, which we did defend. Maybe at times it would lead to a corner kick and it would be another bit. So there was a bit of pressure uh, without coming to an awful lot. They had one opportunity down the left-hand side, cross the goal, and uh, Liam McCann's managed to get back and clear it off the line, which was a, you know good for, for us, good break. Um, but we kept on going and on the counter-attack we were dangerous and that's exactly what happened and uh, a really, really good finish from Brad Spencer. Calvin Miller had an opportunity to slide in Ola as well, and uh, we could add it to it. Uh, I think Big Ross had a chance later on in the game as well. So, yeah, a day where we weren't great, uh, especially second half we weren't great, but still, you know, the attitude was fantastic to keep going, keep going, keep going, to defend, to get up and down the pitch. First time we played on grass, you know, in a long time, probably since pre season, uh, air, uh, air, air, but after that. So we don't play on grass too often. And to be fair, the pitch, the pitch was actually good considering the amount of rain that's been we've had in the last few days. Uh, so no complaints on that. But uh, for us, a little bit with so many Arsenal pitches and playing on Arsenal or yourself, you know, it's a little bit different coming on to coming on to the grass today. You talked about the numerous chances we had in the first half. How much does conceding on the brink of half time, you know, change your your team talker also playing at the fact you made a yeah, half time change? Yeah. It does a little bit, but not a lot, because we were well on top and we had created good opportunities, so we can't even forget that. Yeah, it's always a bit sore just to lose a goal before half time, uh, and it does kind of you know, have an, an, an effect on how you're going to go about it. But we, we stuck with the fact that we had been creating so many opportunities, no matter of taking them, as long as we continue to uh, create them, we would, we would eventually take them. Uh, so from that point of view. But I just felt Calvin had came on against uh, in the last game, uh, last Saturday against Queens, he did really well when he came on. Just thought he was going to make an impact and a difference, and I thought he did. And uh, that's what you've got to do. You've got to try and make make changes that are going to impact the game. And, uh, and I, I thought he did. Uh, so that's what was behind that. Obviously, we changed. Ethan Ross coming on for Gary again, coming on, giving us a little bit fresh legs. He's a good ball carrier, he takes people on, makes things happen. And then we're hit with a kind of double blow that uh, Callum Morrison took an injury at the same time. Uh, Finn Yates started to be sick, he was, he was actually physically sick. So we had to make these two changes at that time, so uh, that was uh, the reasoning behind, behind them. You said yourself we didn't really play our best at the second half, but what does that show about the team's character to you know not be at the races the second half and still come away with a, a good result? Yeah, well we had to dig in and we had to defend, and that's what you're going to do. As I say, we've been playing exceptionally well, some some great football today. It wasn't just quite so free flowing, and credit to Stirling Albion for that. But it speaks volumes for uh, you know our pillars that uh, uh, they've managed to keep going and dig out a result when it maybe looked it wasn't going to happen today but we've, we've kept going and uh, you know we go over here with three points we're two points clear at the top of the league and we, we showed a lot of character How confident are you that this unbeaten run can continue? Yeah we're always confident you know we we believe that we've got good players here we're, uh, we're in a good place we're continuing to to get wins and uh, that, that breeds confidence yeah so we're, we're confident but you can only take it to the next game you know next game we're at home to, to Aloha they've had a really really good result today so we'll look at that and uh, you know prepare for the game uh, against Aloha from Monday morning onwards perfect well congratulations on winning thank you for your time thank you